to people not used to weird things. Sorry, but for everybody else who's open-minded, welcome to my channel. I don't usually dress like this, and nor am I naked, but I just got finished filming a mermaid makeup tutorial, which will be up sometime in September. See? Wearing a seashell bra I made myself. Anyway, I want to talk about Makari. As many people know, Makari is an app used to buy and sell new and used things, and it's good for a few things and bad for some. For one thing, it's good for buyers. You can buy things that are cheaper, you can buy things that are new, used, just about anything on there. And it's really bad for a lot of sellers because there's a ton of scammers on there. I used to use Macari a lot for eyeshadow and things like that for cheaper. I used to use it for things that I couldn't find elsewhere, like the Sugar Pills Sugar Baby Palette, the Too Faced Tetra Night Palette, things that were discontinued years ago before I knew about it or I just sat on my hands too long and missed it. So I was going to my makeup stash, I found a few liquid lipsticks that I never used, and one in particular because I am not supporting a particular brand anymore. And so I went through my stash found it and I was like, uh, I'll just sell this for about the price of pay because it was limited edition packaging, so why not? I'm not going to use it. Might as well get some money back. So I listed it and within about 21 minutes or so I had a buyer. I'm like, okay, yay, great. I'll get rid of it faster than I thought. So I shipped it out and everything with a tracking number because you're supposed to use their thing to print things out. So that's what I did. And then I get this email back from the buyer, which... <laughs> This is scammer shout out to Miss Anna Mendez. So I'm gonna read out what she said to me and it's wow. I could just tell this person was lying. So this is a summary of the listing that I sold to Anna Mendez in California of the lipstick that I sold her. And so she writes, I just received a lipstick and you failed to mention it was used and empty. I am asking for a return from Makari. I sent Makari a photo as well. I'm like what the heck? I'm a licensed cosmetologist, so why would I sell used lipstick? That is disgusting. There's some things that you can sell used if you're a professional, like eyeshadow. You use 70% rubbing alcohol, spritz it around there, it kills any microbes that are present, but even then I wouldn't do that because, hmm, it's gross. And so me being me, I know I would never sell used lipstick. I responded with, what are you talking about? The item is not empty, nor did I ever use it. If that's the case, return it because I knew this woman was BSing me. Then she responds with, It is empty completely. Nothing comes out on a brush. It is being returned. I'm just like, why would it be empty when it's something I never used or open? That makes no sense. Because it was really hot when I sent this out sometime in the middle of July. It still wouldn't have evaporated. There was no way for the product to get out. So I knew she was lying, and I just wanted to call her out on her crap. So I responded with, I would never sell a used item. I'll inspect it myself once it's been returned to see if it's been tampered with. Basically, I'm saying, I knew you messed this up. You are not fooling me. Then Dingbat here responds with, Yes, please do, because it's completely empty. When I take the brush out, nothing is on it. I can see it inside the bottle and nothing. Only what is on the sides, which means it's been used. I decay, but it's empty. Stupidest excuse I ever heard. That makes... Little and no sense. Why would a brand new item be used? It's like, does she seriously think that I have an inventory that could possibly be tampered with in transit? No, I'm one person selling my stuff. And I'm already suspicious of this girl, so I look at her profile and it screams, I'm guilty, I'm a scammer, I do all kinds of bad things. I will be back July 18th. Do not know why people are like honest sellers such as myself because they get mad when they get called out? I have had enough of Merc and their ratchet sellers who are selling BS fake items. However, I ship daily except Sundays. I am an honest seller. My prices are fair considering I do pay taxes and shipping fees myself from each company I buy from. If you don't pay taxes, that must mean you live in Nevada. So if you don't like my prices, cool. Do it moving. Do it moving? I don't even know what language that's in because we sure don't say that in English. That screams that she's scamming. She is one of the stupidest scammers I've ever come across. You can't outsmart someone who's smarter than you. What? Okay, I don't get why she's naming Nevada of all places. 
Because this woman lives in California. Is she named Nevada because I live in Nevada? The person she's trying to scam? And she's butthurt that I called her out on her scam and crap? Like, sorry. Just makes no sense, because... Why Nevada? Because as you can see here, she lives in California. If you're shopping on Macari or Poshmark, and if you run to Ed Mendez, cancel that transaction or you don't buy from her because her feedback was really bad to sell out too. And so I get my package back. Macari's tracking the whole thing because she didn't strip this thing out until I contacted Macari about it. She was planning on keeping it and keeping my money too. Just like, well, this is wonderful. There's no PayPal for me to dispute that it's just a Macari system of whatever the heck this is. And so she sent my package back. And then the first thing I noticed is a little note. It's a really nasty note that screams guilty conscious. You should really be an honest person and not sell used cosmetics. It's nasty and a health concern. Have your garbage back. Wow. I don't know about you, but that sounds to me like a grade A bitch. So I got my lipstick back and I decided to check it out because I'm thinking that she destroyed my lipstick or she tampered with it. As you can see, the sides look completely opaque white. If it were used and empty as this idiot claims, there would be gaps you could see her all around it, but no, there's no empty gaps, empty spaces, or anything like that. And so I decided to open it because she claimed, oh, it's dry, it's used, it's completely empty. I open it up and like, oh, that looks awfully moist to me. It's like there's product in there. So. And then I put it on my arm, like, oh, look! Not used, not empty at all. So I decided to go to Macari and try to call this idiot out and say, hey, you're scamming some of a. Mm, you know what? And so I went into her profile, and <laughs> this is the greatest thing of all. <laughs> this user is no longer using the service. Oh, gee, I wonder why. Scammers. Going to scam and they get cheated out. And the best thing about this is the fact that it says that means that Makari, they got tired of her crap scamming people. Because she had strikes on her account that sounded very suspicious. This time frame, like about a week or so before she bought my item. And these account feedbacks were really bad that she received. So I think her account was, un was like, you know, banned when it puts the account in limbo where you can't buy or sell anything when your account's being reviewed. And so I went straight to her profile, and that's what I saw. And the funny thing is, when you buy or sell something on Makari, like if you're a seller, and if someone buys your item, your money is in limbo for about three to four business days or so until it's, you know, released back to you. But since she was getting a refund, her money should have gone back to the account, but the thing is, they don't let you transfer to three or four days until it's sitting in their account. While this transaction was processing it was in limbo it was in nobody's hands so when her account got banned she lost all the money so she lost she would have been better off just not even bothering a scam and keeping the lipstick and not kept the money because now nobody has the money but this is about the good and bad thing because i think makari they terminated her account once i got my item back but there's so many scammers on here they could have done something really dubious like they could have sent me back an empty envelope and just put the tracking number on there and I wouldn't have gotten anything back. I would have been out of money. So Makari really needs to step up their game tracking and customer service and actually, you know, taking care of things. Which they really don't. They expect you to take care of everything else. They just say, oh, we'll ban this person or yeah, whatever. And our customer service is legit a joke. Because I did contact customer service through this entire ordeal. I got a response from somebody saying they're looking into it. I'm not sure if they actually did or not because I hear a lot of people say that they get no response and the customer service does nothing for them. But I think maybe they looked into it, just why they took care of things the way they did. Well, I would like to think they looked into things, but I'll never know. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think I'll be selling a Macari ever again. If you ever buy or sell a Macari or, or Poshmark or whatever, if someone named Anna Mendez who lives in California, don't. Just cancel a transaction. It's not worth it. If you still want to use it, use it at your own risk, but I do not recommend it. Like, at all. It's not the best. It's... Makari is basically, it's gamer's paradise, people. Just be smart.